Interesting, right? That's a scrap mechanic mechanic shop in Unreal Engine. Interesting, I know. How's it going, guys? Right, today I was working on something a little, a little different. Instead of going for bigger and better, I've gone for like smaller and more manageable. And what I'm looking at today is I built a forklift truck to deal with the vegetable bales. The reason being, I suppose it's easy to make bigger and better vehicles that you just constantly carrying everything but i think that's also where we get to where we kind of we hit a wall ultimately once you're able to transport hundreds upon thousands of fruit and stuff to the trader the game kind of loses its momentum so what i've done today is i went down a different road i've gone for a little bit more of a a play experience if you like so i, I built as this weird little thing and the whole point of this is it's something that is going to be able to pick up these bales and sort of drop them onto the truck. Now, what we've got here is a piston system and a bearing system. So we drive in nice and close, get into the bale, and then we can drop the pistons down and it sits underneath. Now, I'll just show you this. So obviously, the bales have this kind of curved base to it. Uh, the pipes will actually get underneath that base and be able to lift it up. It's playing funky boys with us. It doesn't want to play with us, but it doesn't matter because even if it doesn't sit straight, it will still pick it up. But there it is sat up nice and easy. So we can lift it up and it's held in nicely so that we're now able to just trundle over to the back of the truck and drop it on. I've done this so that I load it from, well I can load it from any which way, but I load it from the back just simply because the floor of the trailer is made with some super slippy blocks. So they're really low friction blocks which basically means I can just trundle up over here, open up these, back out the way, close them back in again uh, and just basically like just push it down and it will slide down the end. And then I can go and get the next block. Now I know I completely understand that it's not practical the trailer that i have and they'll bounce out of there really easy as we go on to the trader uh, there's a lot of lag that it'll cause as well just because of the because of all the collisions that the game is trying to calculate the game still has its downfalls here and there but you know you, we do what we can do that's why i go with a small number of trailers and i don't know if you guys can tell but when i get this thing close it lags so badly like, it's so, so jerky on the old frames, but, you know, it's not so bad. I like these kind of things. There's people out there who like to play the game a little different to everybody else. You don't want to just pick it up using your character, and you want to use the machinery that you can build. So, with that in mind, that's where I kind of threw this together. And sometimes it doesn't fit nicely, but I built it to fit perfectly, just so it can hold it underneath. We've got a few little rails all around the side. So we've got some on the back, these red bar bars on the back. We've got the red bars on the front. And then obviously, we've also got those around there. To keep it in, keeps it nice and compact. It actually stays in here pretty well. So it's pretty good. Uh, basic level pistons, nothing too fancy. And then it's just working out on two different controllers. One controller for the pistons. And one controller for the bearings. So we can release the bearings. And the bad lad sits in. And then we just come in and then just give it a nice gentle nudge. And it sits into place. And that's where it sits. Does what it needs to do without being too complicated. I quite like it. It adds a different angle to it. Like I say, short of running around and just picking up the blocks and, and moving them as you would do normally. Where you just pick it up like this and then run it and stack it on. So, you know, it's all different. Now, obviously, like I said, again, obviously it doesn't. Uh, sit nicely. Ooh. Obviously, it's going to bounce out and go everywhere when we do drive off. And that is one of the downsides to this. There it goes straight over the back. But you can do your own trailer to stop that from happening. Just give it a deeper sides and you'll be quids in. I just thought you might like to see a little idea of a forklift. It works simply because of the shape of the bale. Because it's got the curved undersize to it. Because it goes at some angle it does mean that we can just slide pipes underneath it and a pipe is a perfect size actually to get underneath the sides get underneath the edges and wrap it up nicely so we're able to just poot over open up 
Down we go. And once you're over it, it'll grab it. It should just settle it nicely into the middle. And away you go. Trundle off into the sunset off to the trader. Thank you guys for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now. Take it easy, guys. Bye.